This is a thing. A thing from your everyday work. It could be an email, an image, some data, or a project you're working on. When working, you regularly have to share things with others for various reasons. Depending on what kind of thing it is, you may not want to or even be allowed to share it with everyone equally, but only with certain people. As time goes by and the more things you share, you're eventually faced with a complex web of shared information. What it all comes down to is different permission levels that determine who can or cannot do something. Needless to say, all this is much easier to handle with specialized tools. And that is why we have implemented a really sophisticated permissions management in the CodeSys automation server. It all starts with seven different roles you can assign to users, starting from no access up to administrator. All of them have different rights to create, read or write in the automation server. Let's look at a small example. You developed an application for a customer, including a web visualization. Initially, you only want to give your customer access to the web visualization running on your local test device, which is connected to the CodeSys automation server, nothing else. No problem with the CodeSys automation server. Simply add your customer as a new user with Visu only rights and share the link to the web visualization with him. Your customer can now use the CodeSys automation server to easily access the web visualization from his own remote browser. Not bad, huh? But there is so much more the automation server has to offer here. Remember the thing you shared with others from the beginning? In the automation server, we call these things objects. Objects can be projects and their applications, PLCs, codes as edge gateways, topology views, templates, and data analyzer projects. For each of these objects, you can grant or revoke permissions. What does this mean? Let's take a closer look. Once an object is created in the automation server, by default, only its creator and all superior roles can access it. To grant access to additional people, click on the padlock icon. Here, you have multiple options. First, choose who you want to grant access to. You can either select single users, user groups or user roles. All added persons will have access to the object according to their role level permissions. If you want to extend their permissions, you can assign them an additional role. All permissions of this role are then added to the current permissions. Finally, you can prevent others from granting permissions for this object to third parties. Simply check or uncheck the box according to your preferences and save or discard the changes you made. If you do not want someone to be able to access an object anymore, Simply remove their permissions in the corresponding dialog. And that's it. You see, with the new permissions management, you have sophisticated options to conveniently control permissions in the CodeSys automation server. You and your customers will immediately benefit from this powerful feature. It has never been so easy to share your work. Hooked? Then visit the CodeSys store and get your free basic access now.